<clears throat> why the coach when Kenya when we went against South Africa in a final yes I was was that in Vegas where was it no that yeah. was that was in uh, Australia Australia that was 2008 yes 2008 mm-hmm. that was the first time we had a test in the in, in, in the, the finals, finals. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yes that was big that was huge that was, was the massive, first time yes. it it came that close that L- close. Lamele performed very well um, later on that that season mm. at the at the World Cup, we got to the semis. Right. So it was always coming, you see. Yes. Yeah. And if yes. we didn't have this interruption, right. When we did have it, yeah. when I was first kicked out, yeah. Because I I, I couldn't stand what the chairman was right. was was about. Would would have now been in a different level completely. And where are we now, Benjamin? If you were to look at the team right now, with what a couple of months to go before you start the circuit again? No, we're not. We're not good. Oh. We're not good at all. Huh? Yeah. It's 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 very unfortunate. It's heartbreaking. But we're not good. Really? We aren't. We aren't. Anybody, anybody who says anything different is lying to us. Right. Yeah. So, oh my goodness. And the crowds that show up for our games, Benjamin. Man, it's... You know, it's... Sometimes you just want to play for the crowds. And I think some of these players just go into the field because they don't want to let the, the guys down. Yeah. Our motto has always been, especially when I was coaches, we, in this, or we play in this order for God for country, for family and self. So when you put God first and then you're, you're, yourself, you're, you're the least in that group. Yeah. So you have to play for your country and your family as well after God. So eventually guys go out to play for for th- those those three important people. Mm-hmm. So um, when at some point you're made to think that you're laboring for nothing, it doesn't really pay. And then you come back to Kenya and there's no gratitude. How does that make you all feel? The Collinses, the Humphreys, the Oyos. I the think now, now, now it's a little different because the public are more aware of what what goes on, and the public give us a lot of love. Um, and I think the, even even the the companies that support these players, mm. the the um, endorsements they have, that makes the player want to want to do it more. Um, he doesn't get it much from the rugby union, so it is not. It is nothing. It is. It is nothing from the rugby union. So it's about the, what the families are giving them and yeah. what what the Kenyans are giving. So that union needs to be re, 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 rejigged, if you will, <laughs> reconstituted, <laughs> reconstructed, <coughs> obliterated. <laughs> <laughs> now, a quick one. <laughs> one thing that most Kenyans and lovers of rugby want to hear yes. is, what did you tell the boys at half? Half time of the game with the Fiji. all the blacks. Oh, was, was, it, was it the semi final? Uh, semi final final was Fiji. Was Fiji. Yes, yes. yes. What What did you tell them at half half time? You, you know that conversation. Mm-hmm. <coughs> let's start at preparation for the game. Mm-hmm. <coughs> that we are in the finals. No, in fact, the conversation started at the semi at the semi finals when we yes. playing Argentina. Yes. We hadn't won. We hadn't beaten Argentina in any game that season. We come very close in Hong Kong, in Hong Kong. Actually, in South Africa that season, they beat us by a conversion that didn't go through, but the ref didn't see it. So when when we when we went to appeal, it was actually a draw as opposed to a win. And that would have gone to the finals in South Africa. But and they had, but they gave them the win. No, they gave them the win. Yes. So we, we, when we appealed and they had the look at the video, mm. that's when they realized, oh, this kick did not go through. But the touch judge lifted his flag, so they they allowed it. Oh my goodness! So we came very close in Hong Kong the previous weekend as well. <sighs> so our worry was when you looked at the when you looked at the at the draw, yeah. we're, we're definitely going to meet Argentina at, at some point. point yes. So that was more our worry than any anything else was. Mm. And remember, we were drawing when the final whistle, when the final hooter went. Yes. And we d- they considered a penalty. Right. I remember the police speaking the ball, not even looking at anybody he else. He was so far from. Yeah, he was. He was focused. Yes. Yeah, this is about forty-three meters out. Almost halfway. Corner. Yes, at the corner. So, when you picked that ball, I knew there was something different. Huh? Even if we didn't, even if Collins didn't kick that 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 ball, for we were never going to lose that game to Argentina mm. because my, that was my emphasis. This Argentina game was for our lives because once we beat to Argentina, it didn't matter who else we're going to meet at the finals. Right. So that conversation started there. Can you believe that I never spoke before that final? I never. I, when, when we're in the huddle. Yes. The order usually is the senior player talks, mm-hmm. which is Humphrey, mm-hmm. and then the captain talks. And then the assistant coach, and then myself. So Humphrey spoke. By the time Andrew was speaking, he was he was literally shaking and shedding tears. And I looked across; everybody was 
in that intense moment, I wasn't going to spoil it. And I was praying that the assistant coach doesn't say anything. Right. So he actually did not say anything. So I also didn't say anything. I just said, it's time to break, let's go out and, and warm up. And that was, that, that was, that was it. At halftime, all I did was said, is, it, it wasn't anything motivational, it was very tactical. It's about how we hit the rocks, how aggressive we were. Mm -hmm. And if we, if we kept that aggression going, we'll be fine. But you, you listen to what Collins said. Yes. It's, it's, this 10 minutes is, is about your lives, boys. That's it. And this is for your country, you know? So, and it can be hard in the cameras. Yeah, yeah. it can. It can be hard yes. to watch it. Yeah, 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 for yeah. me, that's the most inspirational yeah. thing that's ever, ever happened in my life, yeah. you know? Just when somebody it. plays for nothing other than this country. Can you imagine? Yeah. You, you can imagine how, how much incentive there was or could have been if he said this is for our lives, yes, you know, yes. but he's playing for his country. Country first, and he never, he never knew the cameras would pick that. Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't anything. It wasn't a PR thing. Right. So you'd imagine what goes on in the player's mind when he's carrying that ball. He's thinking about Jalas and Jeff in the morning. Mm -hmm. How are these guys going to wake up to, to the reality that we, we were in New Zealand and this is what happened. Yes. My family back at home and who who else have left in the house? My children, my wife and girlfriend, whatever it is. Yes. You know? Yes. So it's 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 a lot about what they play for. what they play for is a lot about who they represent as opposed to what they what remuneration they get. Yeah. yeah. So oh my god, wow. can you imagine that? Yeah. And then coming back home and the celebrations and you got <coughs> united a country in, in ways you guys didn't imagine. Now even even now sometimes I I, I walk around and people still talk about something that happened in twenty sixteen. Imagine. You know, and it's 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 a good feeling. It's it's good to know that the little the little that we did made a huge difference. Yeah. And uh, the only people who don't realize that is the rugby union. Which is such a shame <laughs> and an embarrassment. <laughs> so is it? Because this team, like you say now, they're going to go down. Yeah, the so incentives will go down. They we dipped, you see. Yeah. Um, Jeff, nobody, no, nobody associates with losers. That's Correct. I remember when, when, when I took back the team in 2015, the first thing I told the guys is that we're number 13. Do not expect anything because we are number 13. Yeah. Do not demand anything. So for, for those two reasons, whoever wants to be part of this can stay. Whoever doesn't, let's start now. Please leave. And nobody left. Nobody left. Yeah, and that's why that's why we had a very good team. It's the Hot Breakfast with Jeff and Jelano.